In this video, we demonstrate how to troubleshoot an IP camera that is not connecting to your CCTV network or NVR recording device. You may notice that only the green PO light glows while the yellow data LED occasionally blinks and is off most of the time on the PO switch when the camera is connected. Typically, when the PO light glows green but the data yellow light blinks occasionally and remains off most of the time, it indicates that the camera is receiving power but no active data transmission is occurring. This could be due to several potential issues, such as a damaged or faulty Ethernet cable, a loose connection at either the camera or the post switch, or configuration problems with the camera or switch. Additionally, the camera itself may be malfunctioning, preventing proper communication with the network. Network-related issues, such as incorrect switch configurations, faulty PO ports, or insufficient power for data transmission, can also result in the absence of the data light. If you've already tried replacing the RJ45 connectors, changing the PO port, adjusting the network configuration, or even replacing the camera, and the data light is still not glowing, the issue is likely with the Ethernet cable itself. Some of the internal wires may be damaged, preventing proper data transmission. Replacing the cable should resolve the issue in this case. However, in this demonstration, we show how to fix the issue using the existing CAT6 Ethernet cable by rearranging the wire pairs. Most modern PO cameras only require two pairs, four wires, for both power and data transmission, while a standard CAT6 Ethernet cable has four pairs, eight wires. By rearranging and utilizing the functional wire pairs, you can restore the camera's connection without needing to replace the entire cable. In this demonstration, we tested the faulty cable with a LAN tester, which identified a fault on port 1, as shown in the video. The lack of a glow on port 1 of the tester indicates that the first pair, white and yellow, is damaged. Because of this issue, the camera is not transmitting data. If you find any of the mandatory ports, 1, 2, 3, or 6, to be faulty, replace the corresponding wire pair with another color pair accordingly. After tracing the faulty wire, the next step is to replace it with other available wires that are functioning properly, such as wires 7 and 8, which can substitute for wires 1 and 2. If you discover that wires 1 and 2 are operational but either wire 3 or wire 6 is showing signs of a fault, it's essential to take action. In this case, you should disconnect the faulty wire, either 3 or 6, and replace it with wires 7 and 8. To change the wire position of an Ethernet cable, start by removing the existing RJ45 connectors from both ends using wire cutters for a clean cut. Next. Strip about 1 to 2 inches of the outer insulation from the cable with a wire stripper, exposing the internal wires while being careful not to damage them. Afterward, examine the exposed wires, which typically consist of four twisted pairs, and identify the pairs required for your camera's operation. Untwist the necessary wire pairs and align them according to the correct pin configuration. Note. If you don't have a LAN tester to check the Ethernet cable, you can use a multimeter as an alternative. Start by cutting off both RJ45 connectors from the cable. Next, use the multimeter to test each wire individually for continuity. Identify which wires are functioning properly and arrange those working wires into positions 1, 2, 3, and 6 for crimping onto the new RJ45 jack. If you do not have access to either a multimeter or a LAN tester, you can directly use wires 7 and 8 to replace the faulty wires 1 and 2. After making these adjustments, simply crimp the RJ45 connector onto the cable. As per our demonstration, the faulty yellow and white wire pair was replaced with the working pair from the brown wires, white and brown. This interchange allows the camera to establish a proper connection and effectively transmit data. Since the wires in positions 3 and 6, green and green slash white, are functioning correctly, they contribute to the overall data transmission pathway, ensuring the camera can communicate effectively with the network. By making these adjustments, we can confirm that the camera will now receive both power and data, addressing the original connectivity issue. After successfully rearranging the wires according to the diagram provided, 
it's time to crimp the RJ45 jack. Start by ensuring that the wires are neatly aligned and in the correct order. In your specific situation, if you have identified any faulty wires, make sure to interchange them with the working wires as needed to restore connectivity. For instance, if the yellow and white wire pair was found to be faulty, and you are replacing it with a working pair such as the brown wires, carefully position the brown wires in the corresponding slots for wires 1 and 2 in the RJ45 connector. Once everything is correctly aligned, insert the wires into the RJ45 jack firmly, making sure they reach the end of the connector. Finally, use a crimping tool to secure the RJ45 jack onto the cable. You need to rearrange the wires and re-crimp the jack at the other end of the Ethernet cable as well. Start by removing the existing RJ45 connector to prepare for a proper connection. Once the connector is off, strip back the outer insulation of the cable to expose the individual wire pairs. Next, rearrange these wire pairs according to the faulty wires that were previously identified and traced. It's essential to follow the correct color code for the wiring scheme you are using, ensuring that it matches the arrangement on the other end of the cable. After you've organized the wires in the correct order, trim any excess wire length if needed to ensure they fit snugly within the RJ45 jack. Carefully insert the wires into the RJ45 connector, making sure that each wire reaches the end of the connector for a secure connection. Finally, use a crimping tool to firmly crimp the RJ45 jack onto the cable, ensuring that the metal pins make proper contact with each wire. After crimping, inspect the connection to confirm that the wires are securely attached and that the connector is firmly in place. Finally, you can verify the rewiring by using a LAN tester to check if wires 1, 2, 3, and 6 are connected and functioning properly. This step will confirm that your adjustments were successful. If you don't have a LAN tester, you can directly connect the camera and the post switch to the Ethernet cable to test the connection in a practical scenario. If the camera powers on and transmits data as expected, the PO light will glow green, indicating a successful power connection, while the data, yellow, light will blink, signaling that data communication has successfully started with your CCTV network or NVR recorder. Note, this method can be used to fix any brand of IP CCTV camera experiencing issues with data communication transmission. If you're facing similar problems with data not transmitting properly, follow these steps to identify and resolve faulty wiring, ensuring your camera reconnects to the network effectively. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting us. Your support helps us create more informative content and continue providing valuable resources to our audience. Whether it's through liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel, every bit of support makes a difference and is greatly appreciated. Thank you.